Hello everyone. So a couple of weeks ago I had asked on my Twitter for my followers to send in pictures that I would edit for them. Um, so this is one of the pictures that I was sent. If you would like to be in the next video featuring this whole editing thing, definitely follow me on Twitter and send me one of your pictures. Um, so I'm going to be opening up this photo that I well, I already opened it up in Facetune. I believe Facetune is $1, but it allows you to make some really good edits that really change the whole feel of your photos. So if you're serious about social media, it's definitely worth the investment. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of analyze the picture. Um, so what I would like is this little kind of slate thing that she is leaning on. I want to whiten that a little bit. I think it would kind of like bring a little bit more life to the photo. So what you want to do is go to the whitening tool and just kind of drag it over this area where she's leaning on and this will kind of just like bring everything together I think a little bit better. Um, so if you need to you can zoom in and it's not going to make like a huge like dramatic difference. Um, so you don't have to be like too picky with where you put your finger. Um, it actually like does a really good job of blending it in by itself. And yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. So if you click on the little blue thing in the corner here, it'll show you the before and the after um, so that you can see the difference. Another thing that I like to do is anything that's white, I do like to kind of make that pop a little bit. So, for instance, her shirt, I'm just going to kind of whiten that a little bit since it is a light color. It kind of just makes it, I guess, pop a little bit more. And I tend to find that any sort of yellow tones in a picture um, kind of, for me, isn't the style that I'm going for. So, again, you can see the before and after already. Um, and you know, this isn't everybody's style, but yeah. Um, so if you need to erase, like for instance, I got a little bit too much of her hair. You can go ahead in and kind of re-add that color. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is save this, and I'm going to save this to camera roll. And then I'm going to open it up in ViscoCam, which is right here. So I'm going to add the plus button and then pick the photo that we just edited. Okay, and then we're going to go down here to this tool. Okay, so the settings that I want to do is I usually will start with a A5. I really, really like this setting. I like cool tones, but I don't like it too crazy. So I'm going to bring this down to probably about 5. We'll do 5.7 here, okay? Then what you can do is you can actually edit the different settings. So I'm going to go into exposure and bring it up just a tad. Um, we'll do 0.5, okay? Then what you're going to do is go into contrast and in, make that a little bit higher just to get a little bit more of a pop, a little bit of a different feel into it. The next thing that you're going to go into is sharpen. And you're just going to sharpen that just a tad, not too much. You don't want it to be super grainy looking. Um, so it depends if you're taking this on an iPhone or a regular camera because just kind of depends. Saturation, what I like to do is boost it up. Now, certain parts of this photo is going to look a little bit too dramatic, but what you can do is go into the temperature and kind of change that a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put negative 0.3 just so it doesn't look too orangey. That's the problem that we find. Um, lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the highlights tint and add in a little bit of red and then decrease this down to eh, 2.8 or, you know, each photo is going to be a little bit different. So that's what I'm going to go with. So that is the finished photo. So I'll put the before and after in the thumbnail so you guys can kind of check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to have your photo edited by me, definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's where I get the photos from. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.